It's Tim Albright with Aviation Nation with the road to Infocom. Infocom 2022 comes your way from Las Vegas the 8th through the 10th of June. And with me, talking about Aver's booth, is Mr. Carl Harvell. Welcome, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Absolutely. You guys are in the W Hall. The W is for the new, brand new West Hall, uh, W2847-2847. Carl, we walk into the Aver booth uh, in the West Hall. What are we going to find this year? Oh, we're going to find some uh, some new devices that we made a, an announcement with. Uh, one is going to be a very slick and nifty video bar geared towards the medium to small conference room. Uh, this is kind of our third generation of this video bar. It's called the BB342 Pro. Uh, and I can talk a little bit more on that in a bit. But we're also going to come out with uh, two other cameras. Uh, that we are making an announcement with. One of them is the Cam 550, which is a 4K optical zoom lens camera that has two lenses in it. Uh, and then also uh, a Cam 130 content camera that you could mount to a whiteboard and or to an interactive flat panel and share content amazingly. So these are the uh, the, the quick and, and, and uh, summarized uh, uh, description of the devices we're coming out with, but you know, going back on to that VB342 Pro that we're going to have, uh, man, yeah. that one's a, a nice video bar that has an optical zoom lens in it. So it is a, uh, a USB peripheral. Um, it's uh, currently getting Zoom and Microsoft Teams certified, but uh, generally it's geared towards medium conference rooms because with that 3.3 optical zoom lens that we have, it will allow you to zoom in past uh, 25 feet. Um, the 10 microphone array that we have built within it is calibrated to uh, pick up people from 10 feet, I mean, uh, uh, up to 25 feet away as well. But it has built in voice tracking, audio fencing, uh, not only uh, presenter tracking capabilities, but man, it uh, has that mechanical pen tilt zoom. So it uh, has been a, uh, well, it's been making a lot of buzz so far for people that have been able to check it out. Good, absolutely. Talk for a second also about that the content camera that you're talking about. As as more students and, and you know faculty get back into campus, and also you know uh, for folks in the corporate world that are sort of starting to do more and more collaboration, but we're also it, it's still this this hybrid world where we're we're you know trying to make sure that everybody in the meeting, everybody in the class, has the ability to see and hear and experience. How important is that with with you know when it comes to uh, leveraging something like that content camera. Yeah, it's it's you know those types of scenarios where, you know, I, I think there's still a pretty big split of, amongst people that want to go full digital and or people that want to go analog, and you know there's just something about writing you know pen to paper and or marker to whiteboard that a lot of people love to do, and so this will allow the camera to be mounted over the whiteboard because our cameras have a really wide field of view, but also the way we designed the whiteboard mount, you could actually mount it to really large whiteboards, small ones, but then we put technology in the camera to uh, uh, not act weird with you know the, the flicker of a television if you hook it up to an IFP. So <clears throat> it will allow somebody to uh, write naturally without any issue, you know, go, like especially that it's been certified with Microsoft Teams, you know, it has a lot of the nifty features that a lot of the service providers are using, like being able to have that transparent view of somebody writing and not uh, block, you know, what they're writing. And so for the far end, it yeah. will allow them to, you know, just naturally absorb the data that's coming through. Awesome. Yeah. All right, Carl, you guys are back in the, uh, the, the West Hall, the brand new West Hall, W2847-2847. Not everybody is going to Infocom, though, Carl. Uh, so if they're not going and they want to find out more about you guys, about Aver, how do they do that? Oh, go to our website, AverUSA.com. You can find a lot of information on there across all of our product lines. Um, but then also within uh, social media, you know, we're on LinkedIn. We are on YouTube. Uh, Aver information is what you want to search for. All right, very good, Carvel, uh, Carl Harvell. Uh, thanks so much. We'll see him at uh, Infocom in June. We'll see you uh, if you follow along at Aviation.tv. That's Aviation.tv and follow along as we also head to Vegas the 8th through the 10th of June. All that and more at Aviation.tv. That's Aviation.tv. Aviation